It's time for a full English. Hey up! I've made full English breakfasts on my hot plate and in a steamer. Now I want to find out, can you do a full English breakfast with just an air fryer? <sighs> Let's give it a go. So I want some mushrooms. So a pot of those. On the mushrooms, a big lump of butter. I also have some chilli sausages. Get those bits going. Just quickly. For about eight minutes. That's the first eight minutes up. So, give the mushrooms a mix around. And spin the sausages. And drop in a pot of baked beans. Back in for another eight. While that's going, I want the tomato. And some smoked bacon. Now, I'm thinking... If I do it like that, they'll be able to stand up in there. Fish. Or not. That is the second eight minutes up. Turn the sausages once more. The beans are warming up, but they're not hot. Mushrooms are fairly much done. I might put a few more in there quickly. A bit more butter on the top. Back in it goes again for about another six minutes. Right, that's been in there now for the last six minutes. So. Sausages out. Cover them. The beans. And the mushrooms. That's all covered. Next. Tomatoes. The bacon. And some black pudding. And that goes in for, let's say, eight minutes. While that's cooking, I've got to get ready for the eggs. So, I'm going to put a little bit of cooking oil. Get it all the way around and everywhere. That should hopefully stop the eggs from sticking. I did a second pop. So, 
an egg in there. An egg in there. And another one in there because I've only got two pots left. Now I don't know if I need to, but I'm going to prick the yolks just because I don't want them exploding in the air fryer. They probably won't, but I don't want to risk it. That's the eight minutes up. Turn the bacon over. Turn the black pudding round. I'd say another six minutes. So back it goes. The only thing left to do is the fried bread. Now, the way I figure it, if I butter this, if I butter this, Six minutes are up, I've taken out the bacon, the uh, tomatoes, and the black pudding. In goes the eggs and the bread. And back in for about however long. That's seven minutes up. So I'm gonna turn the toast over. Back in for another couple of minutes, and I think we're there. That is time up. So I think it's now time to put this baby together. Full fry up, only using an air fryer. So, time for that one important taste test. The beans. Fine, absolutely fine. Tomatoes. Okay, they're okay. The eggs. More like poached. The bacon. Not the greatest. Mm. It, I don't know, just lost its bacon y um, something. The sausages. Mm. Sausages worked, yeah. Mushrooms.
I've done mushrooms in the air fryer before and as always they're all right and nothing right home about but they're all right the black pudding Hmm. Black pudding came out all right. Finally, <clears throat> the fried dumb bread. Mm. <laughs> Much better than I was expecting. I'm quite surprised with that one. It's not proper fried bread, but it is a lot better than I was expecting. So, can you do a full English in an air fryer? Yes, you can, but... My life, you need all the little pots to try and keep things warm, and they're not as warm as I'd like. Um, and what a palaver. It's so much easier doing it on a hot plate. The easiest one of all was doing it in the steamer. That came out great. You know, the sausages didn't have much colour, but it was so easy. Just chuck it in, turn it on, job done. And a normal fried breakfast, using your oven and, well, cooker, and frying everything, it always comes out the best. When I say the best, the hot plate was a very close second. Conclusion, don't even bother trying. Too much effort and it's not as good as you'd like. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I said 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 I shall see you again next time. ta -da. And a satsuma pill. Don't be orange pill, but I haven't got an orange. And a satsuma pill. Suppose... So... So we'll have some of those in as well. <laughs>